Good morning. <laughs> What's up guys, Matty is here back with another video. Today we are gonna be shipping out some birds and we are finishing up that rug that I've been working on. Waiting to ship it out, just waiting on the guy to send me that address and then this, that the rug is out of here. Finished, complete. carrier ready got some shavings in there and got some tape i gotta see if we have some fruit and see if i can throw it in there my dad uh, already fed the birds so they should be good they're not going too far uh they're just going to ohio and it's just this pair right here but yeah the only reason why i'm letting this guy go is just because i don't plan on doing anything with him i don't have a matching hen for him but i really do like him he's really nice i really like his attitude his shape and his size i don't i'm not really a fan of this color i just like his shape size and how he is you know but he's cool gotta ship these out now Red and sugar bond up there. Got the bird secured, time to go fill out the paperwork and go to the post office. I'm gonna fill like fucking five birds in this bitch. So before we go, we gotta fill out this paperwork. This is just for the post office to have ready for them. With your address, where you're shipping to, and the phone numbers, and that's it. And give them the birds and pay for your shit and get the fuck out of there. I like that, be back. Yeah, just got done shipping those birds out. It's a little awkward bringing the camera in there, so I didn't really want to film in there. Like it's country as fuck where I live, dog. I live in the middle of bumfuck Texas. I literally look at Texas and just look for the middle, and that's where I live. But yeah, a lot of people don't know this. You actually ship out birds and stuff through United states postal service the only thing is fun fact yeah you can ship out fucking birds come on people get the fuck out of your house people of course you can ship out animals come on fucking 2022 you know what i'm saying we just got back home from the post office i just replaced those two that were in here with a bb red rooster that i have i'm just like uh, need some like flight time these are like my little fly pins and these are like my little like hatchers above the pens at the top are like three feet tall the ones below are four feet tall and they're kind of just like miniature fly pins like my dad's like you see it's like my dad's stuff see how it's like a big ass fly pin but since my birds are small, they don't need to be, you know, kind of big ass fly pen. That's kind of like my inspiration behind designing that. But yeah, dad already fed all the birds, all the post office and stuff. I'm just taking up on, you know, the baby. Yes, uh, looking good, looking healthy. All looking good. All four of them are still doing all right. Love to see it. None of them have drowsy eyes. None of them are looking tired or anything. They're just, uh, living their best life. Look at them. There you go, there you go. They're doing good. Our first hatches are down here. I moved them from that little thing that we had set up earlier. Storm is a pure ODGB, OEGB. And those are pure Kikirikis. I actually got rid of their father, but I still got their mother. The reason why I got rid of their father is just because, because like he has a beard and like a muff. And I didn't know that when I ordered him. Uh, I found out like the hard way, but I did really like the Brewster like overall. I just didn't like the beard. And since like, you know, I don't really want to be focused on the beard. I'd rather just get it out and then uh, try to breed it out myself. And again, their mom is right here just waiting on her to pop some fucking eggs open. Should be due here soon. Got her with a rooster that's non-bearded. Um, but with that all being said, birds are all pretty much good. Nothing's really changed. Gotta go check up on that rug and finish it up. Just gotta vacuum it, fine tune it to get it how I like it. Because like I said, guys, I would never ever sell something that I wouldn't buy myself. Or I would never give something that I wouldn't, you know, give to myself. It's just not cool. You know, it goes back to the rules like treat others the way you want to be treated. And yeah, well, let me go check if I make sure. Let me make sure I lock all that shit. And you're the one on my mind when I'm feeling lonely You know how I feel You can make me feel at home But I don't feel at home Cause you don't call me All right, guys, just got on live on Instagram. Just finished up my rug. Celebrating here with some Playboy Cardi. You feel me? rug and now i'm just getting all these eggs out of the incubator because they are not good not hatching yeah this shit fucking stinks i do not want to crack these open i'll tell you that like if i throw this on the ground it literally pop Woo. but yeah i'm about to take this shit out and clean it out because this shit is stinks and it is just nasty. all right so i got in the zone real fast and i just like went to go clean this i didn't want to record clean it because this shit just stunk and i want to be gentle because i don't want to fuck up the motor fuck up one of the rotating cups yeah it's all clean now dawn soap and rags but we're just missing one important thing the eggs. Yeah, the other day I was like checking out the eggs because I was wondering why the hens were like acting weird. So I checked on the eggs and some of them were cracked and rotten. When I did that um, and took those eggs out, they started going more inside the nest and started laying more eggs. The eggs that I got out.
y'all were from my roundhead Sumatra project I got going on. Only took half of her egg. Took the ones that look the most like dirty. That way, like get rid of like whichever one's like non-fertile. If it is non-fertile, that makes any sense. Because if you guys feed, feed your bird egg layer, like the first couple eggs are usually not fertile. Yeah, three I think are not fertile, and I think one is gonna be super fertile. I'm I'm just guessing. It's out of guess, bro. Still thinking because I don't. I, sometimes like when you move a, another rooster into like with the hen, uh, if the hen is not experienced, and this is her first year, if the hen's not experienced, sometimes she won't do her job and sit on the eggs. Kind of are loyal for the most part. Right now we're just filling up the incubator. Again, these are my eggs. Four from my roundhead Sumatra project. I tried dialing you up. You let it ring, I get salty. Miss all conversations that we used to have. So I gotta see, it's an experiment, like fucking science class. And yeah, I gotta clean up this area. This is like my, my workstation. Got a bunch of my sister's junk over there. My frame, just a bunch of shit. Gotta organize. It's hard to work when your shit's messy, at least for me. Like I have to clean my room and shit before I start editing and stuff. Like if I if I have a messy room, I can't edit. It's like weird, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable editing when I have a messy room. Like if I have a messy room, then I just won't edit. So like when you're depressed, I would just not edit because uh, messy room. Don't want to edit. Videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday.